Cricklock Company's Manoa project started in an effort to take what this company is doing uh, on a training level, drawing from our mentors to create new forms of theater, and take that mission and direction to a new generation of young people who might leave our work and depart into their own uh, um, stepping beyond even what we've done. In other words, create their own theater companies, create their own original plays, create their own solo work, uh, create their own direction in life around having a career in theater. So this, this creation came about through the collaboration of, of ourselves with uh, Manoa Hohola's family, uh, Ted Hohola and Deli Alcantara. Um, and they're uh, wanting to uh, create a program that would help the, the memory of their son move on uh, um, and inspire others because he was such a passionate young artist. The first component of the Manoa Project is the statewide playwriting competition. We solicit scripts from all around the state, from high schools, uh, public schools and independent from all over. And uh, the selected plays, there's a winning play and then there are two alternate plays the winning play will receive a full staged performance that will then also go on tour uh, this year to UNM and also to Santa Fe um, and we're hoping in years to come to around the state uh, giving the students a great um, experience in what it's like to be a touring theater ensemble. The rehearsal process is led by one of Trick Lock's directors um, directing each uh, play along with assistant directors from our company, along with uh, design mentors and uh, uh, technical mentors and stage management mentors, all from Trick Lock Company. The second part of the Manoa Project is the training workshop program, which is training for actors and performers. In this section of the Manoa Project, uh, an eight-week program, Students are training in acrobatics, in song, in vocal techniques, in speaking, in ensemble work, in trapeze work, in martial arts, in yoga. training them in a collaboration on a group level. All aimed at giving the artist, the young actor, an arsenal of abilities so that when they proceed into the, the, the professional world, they're able to do many, many things when asked to try something different. We ourselves as artists in Trick Lock Company are continuously challenging ourselves to push past our own limitations, to continue to reach out and discover new things. And that's what we encourage, again, um, the students to do, is to, to reach beyond what they think they're capable of and to find new places. What we reach for in terms of the philosophy of the training and the philosophy of, of, of the work on the plays is sort of a microcosm of community in general. Uh, an ensemble, an ensemble-based theater is really based on uh, group collaboration, group decision-making, uh, there's certainly leadership, but at the same time everyone is cultivated as a leader. Um, things are delegated to everyone and people's strengths are enhanced and people's weaknesses are challenged to become stronger. And we see the work that we do with these students as being our microcosm of community in the sense that a community that works together in a challenging and critical way and yet supportive way and an energetic way uh, is a community that grows, grows stronger and an ensemble that can grow stronger and make stronger theater. This is an exercise called Fly Paper. It's to increase teamwork, group conversation, working together, physicality with your ensemble. And it's very challenging because you have to find out not only who will be saved, any part of anyone that touches the ground is stuck forever. I think we almost have a survivor. So you have to figure out how to get at least one of the last of your species over to the platform and then your species will live on. When we talk about the entire company working on the Manoa Project too, we're talking about the many roles and the many hats that Trick Lock Company members wear. Um, there is a director for the main stage show. 
there are separate directors for the staged reading performances of other plays. There's a separate director for the work demonstration that will combine the work the students are doing in the training into an experimental montage of, of theatrical moments. There are uh, choreographers from our company working on the play under the direction of a company member who's directing the play. Um, there are a series of trainers, just people who are teaching during the day the students in the workshop. And so what, you, what I think the students will walk away with is a sense of how a, an ensemble works as a group to make something come together collaboratively. That rehearsal process uses, directly uses the training exercises and the work that they were doing in the training only two hours before, now applies it directly to the stage, directly to a script applies what they did in workshops directly to a real stage performance so they can see the value of training in martial arts, of training in yoga, of training in vocal techniques, applied directly to the staging of a play. This is very process oriented. The Manoa Project is very much based in development of theater artists not just making a great play at the end of the day, but how are these students learning about their own potential? And how are they learning that ongoing work, ongoing training, will benefit them in the long run? It culminates from the beginning of the playwriting workshops to the touring, gives the students a full picture of what it's like to run a theater company from top to bottom. Development of new work all the way to showing that work all over the place. I hope that in terms of, of where we're headed for the future with, with Manoa Project, I hope we continue to expand. Um, we're looking to uh, find ways to get into the schools and, um, and do more trainings in the fall and the spring to, to, uh, to connect with students and get them to, 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 to let them know about this project. We hope to continue to receive more and more scripts in our uh, playwriting competition each year. And we also hope to continue to expand the, the, the summer training ensemble by you know, little bits every year. My goals for the future are our uh, Manoa graduates spread all over the world, <laughs> making more theater companies, uh, making more great work, more uh, adventurous, uh, experimental work, and encouraging their kids to be theater artists. There's a lot, there's a lot we have goals for here. <laughs>